Hey guys, welcome to one of my short, quick videos. We're keeping them shorter these days, under 20 minutes, just the stuff that you need to fix your car, get the information, get back on the road. And I'm gonna try not to leave anything out, but I'm gonna try to make it quick. Stay tuned, let's go. Welcome back. Got us a 2008 F-150. All right, the report on this one is it's got some glitchy shit going on. It doesn't always light up. Uh, you see there, I just wiggled the plug and we got the uh, LCD to do something different. When we try to power it up, we get the twitchy needles, but we get this pause in the twitch. And that's all unusual. So we're going to tear this thing apart, see what we can find. Just got clips all the way around on this one. There's a couple different versions of this 08 F-150. Some of them got a single plug on the top. For F Is it F-150 or F-250? 250. 250, yeah. The other, there's another others that have uh, dual plugs on the top. This is not one of those. This is one that has the single plug over here. Anyway, getting this thing apart, these are just clips all the way around. Kind of brittle, as you can hear. Let's see if you get a little wedge in there. Once you get your little wedge in there, you can hold a little tension on it and start working a lot better. Come on. I said you were going to work better. Help oh, get a T15. It's a long extension. Once you get to that point, you're going to want to find where the stops are for your needles. And. Get yourself some, oh, not, not a Sharpie. You don't want a Sharpie. Get yourself a little pencil. And you can put a little mark where your stops are. That way you can always get back to them. After you've got your stops marked, you just twist and lift. And those needles will come off. Next step is to get this circuit board out of here. Little tabs in the back. I take my finger, I hold up on the plug to apply a little tension. Otherwise, you just unclip it in one spot and it'll clip back in the other. All right. I suspect we're going to have problems up here. Let's go see if I'm right. Fancy blue stripe going across it. I'm not sure what that's all about, but let's get in a little tighter. Um, this is the one that occasionally we have issues with a via over here. And look at that via. Yep. That is interesting. That one, that one, that one. So what was his complaint again? Uh, so when they plug it in, the only thing that pops up is the airbag light and the first gear shifting light. Nothing else powers that sounds up. like a power problem. That's not what's happening on our our bench test there. So I'm not sure that this is totally causing that, but usually this this is just causes a display failure. There's a lot of that growth on that. Yeah, and that's unusual for a Ford. This we see this a lot in the Chevys, but not so much in the Fords. So we're going to have to really look close at this board and find all of that stuff. So what's going on there? Okay. Um, let me get something to do a little more pointing with, right? 
this trace, where are we? Okay. This trace is coming in. That's one line. This trace is coming in. That's another line. All right. This trace is jumping over to that trace. This trace jumping over to that trace. So really what we have here is all three of those traces are jumped. And, yeah. So I can see how it would be causing an issue. And I don't know which one, what. Yeah, this one here too. They don't always make connection when this happens between trace to trace, but eventually they start to make just a microscopic connection and that's what causes your problems. So anyway, my best guess on this one is going to be that we clean this sucker up, get all that stuff off that we can find, and we should have a good working cluster again. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of these views, and this stuff is all over the place. It's uh, right here. Uh, it's not in any just one specific area. It's just growing all over the place. There's another one. This is a, so we've gone all the way from the left-hand side of the board all the way to the right-hand side of the board, and we're still finding it. All right, let me pick a gnarly section here, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of this stuff. had to deal with a customer wanting me to work on a Jetta. Not so much. We don't do German stuff. Just FYI, before you call and ask me to work on a German car, we ain't doing it. All right, what I just put on there was Amtec. Uh, Amtec Flux. And we're going to go back over with the heat now. I'm going to touch these up with a little heat and get in there. That stuff melts away, scrubs away with your soldering iron. You get a little flux, a little heat. And if I can find where I'm working at, you see it just all goes away. You got to work your soldering iron a little bit back and forth. We're going to have a lot of cleanup on this one when we're done because anytime you put that flux on your board, you want to get it back off of there before you're finished. And you clean your flux up with a little rubbing alcohol or whatever you got. I'll we'll so shoot you a little rubbing alcohol across there. Get you a little stiff brush. Where are we? And there you go. That's what it looks like without all the growth going between the circuits. I got a whole lot of this to do. I'll probably either film it and put it on fast forward but that's the detailed version I can see I've missed a little bit right over on this edge we'll get that off and um, we'll go from there got the young guns in here he's got better eyesight than I do and he'll get this done we're gonna fast forward right about now and he's just gonna start knocking this out
So most of this stuff looks like, uh, as far as I can tell, it's all gone. The next thing to do is we're going to go ahead and hit those header pins anyway because they're a constant problem. See, oh, there you go. This is some of the sludge that came off of the, uh, that's just some sludge coming off of there. It looks like, it looked, I think it was. You don't think that that stuff is all that, there's all that much of it until you see a big old slob, a big old ball of it like that come off of your soldering tip after you've been working for a little bit. And uh, then you realize, man, there was a lot of that stuff on there. see any more areas of concern here so let's see if we did anything so I'm not gonna do the whole reassembly yet I just want to see if I affected any kind of a change in its boot up process Not so much. We still have the little paws and then the herky jerky action after the paws. I don't believe that's normal. Hey, see if we've got one of these in stock. I want to see the boot up process on a normal one. Joe, yeah. see if we got one of these in stock. I want to see the normal the boot up process on a normal one. The one with a single plug, single blue plug. Hey, if you like what you saw here today, get down there in them buttons, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to get advised of the new content as it's released. My name is John. We've been here in San Antonio for over 20 years fixing electronics. We specialize in automotive, but uh, we definitely can fix any component level repairs you might need. The company is Automotive Electronics. You can look us up on Google's Automotive Electronics in San Antonio, and you'll find us every single time. Until next time, I hope all your repair attempts are successful. Hopefully you save yourself a little cash along the way. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.